Kennedy. Well, I'm joined now from Annapolis by the Republican Governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan. He issued a stay-at-home order yesterday in order to slow the spread of the virus in his state. Thank you for joining us, Governor. Every day we see sort of sure. bizarre contradictions between what state leadership is saying and what the president says in his press conferences. Are you, as the leader of a state, able to do what you need to do to protect your people? Well, look, it's really uh, the federal government and all the states taking uh, the actions that they believe are necessary to keep our citizens safe and keep them alive. And we're each taking independent actions, but we're also trying to work together. In addition to being the, the governor of the state of Maryland, which surrounds our nation's capital here, right here in the Washington area, I'm also the chairman of all the nation's governors. And we've been working together with the federal leaders. But quite frankly, uh, we, you know, we're in an extremely difficult uh, situation here in this global pandemic that is impacting you in the UK and it's it's now gripped the United States not just in New York but all 50 states in America and uh, right here in the nation's capital region uh, in my state and uh, neighboring Washington DC and Virginia yesterday had a stay at home order 14 and a half million people are now required to stay in their homes and we're about two weeks behind New York where you're just just uh, seeing what you were just talking about the same crisis is about to hit us here you have a very different health care system to the one we have over here for people who don't have their own means, what does it mean for them if they don't have insurance? Well, we're trying to address the needs of every single person that's uh, hit by this, whether they have insurance or not. And the, the issue right now is not so much whether people have means or whether they have insurance. It's about the capacity of our healthcare system and whether or not we have uh, a, enough uh, a hospital bed capacity and intensive care units and respirators and emergency room and enough personnel, as you see what's happening in New York. It's not so much about uh, whether people have the, uh, the insurance or the funding, it's about whether we actually have the ability to take care of so many sick people at the same time that are just surging our hospitals. And what do you make of the leadership of Donald Trump through this? Well, look, I think they're making some attempts to, uh, to, to catch up, but there's been some mistakes that have been made, and, um, but they have been reaching out to the governors, and governors are taking their own independent actions, but uh, they've, they've taken some steps recently to try, to try to get behind this thing, but there's no question that uh, we're behind the eight ball, and uh, we've, got some, uh, we've got some important uh, work to get done. And we're all, I don't want to point fingers about what hasn't been done or who made which mistakes. Uh, but we've got to work together somehow uh, because we're all in this together, not just in America, but around the world. What we're looking at in Britain is the availability of testing, the availability of antibody testing, uh, how we're going to try getting yes. back to normal, uh, all those sorts of things. I mean, do you have the same shortages in the United States when it comes to things like ventilators? The this, the, the exact same issues, John. Uh, so testing is a huge problem. Um, we don't have enough testing. We don't have enough masks or personal protective equipment or ventilators. Um, and uh, so the exact same issues that you're faced with in the UK or what we're faced with here, it really is a global issue. And we're all trying to to buy these things on the on the global market. I heard heard just a moment ago talking about it's like buying on eBay. On eBay. And we have 50 states in America all competing with one another and competing with the federal government and competing with other nations around the world to try to get what is really just a very small supply and not enough of any of these things anywhere in the globe.